Hi readers, welcome back to Reading with Christy. I hope you're doing well. Now, in today's story, a hungry thing comes into town. And while the townspeople try to help him out, they can't understand what he says. For this book, turn your reading brains on and get ready for a whole bunch of runs. Will the townspeople be able to figure out what he's saying or will the hungry thing starve? There's only one way to find out and that's for you to get comfortable and join for this reel out of The Hungry Thing. One morning, a hungry thing came to town. He sat on his tail. He pointed to a sign around his neck that said, Feed me. The townspeople gathered around to see the hungry thing. What would you like to eat? asked the townspeople. Shim cakes, answered the hungry thing. Shnan cakes? cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What can they be? My dear me, said a wise man. Shnan cakes? That's plain. Our small kind of chicken that falls with the rain. Of course, said a cook. Shnan cakes, I've read, are better to eat when you stand on your head. I think, said a little boy, you're all very silly. Shman cakes sound like, fan cakes sound like, pancakes to me. So the townspeople gave the hungry thing some. The hungry thing ate them all up. Then the hungry thing pointed to a sign that said, feed me. What would you like to eat? asked the townspeople. Tickles, answered the hungry thing. Tickles, cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What can they be? My dear me, said the wise man. Tickles, you know, are curly-tailed hot dogs that grow in a row. Of course, said the cook. Tickles taste yummy and you giggle and laugh with ten in your tummy. I think, said the little boy, it's all very clear. Tickles sound like sickles, sound like pickles to me. And they gave the hungry thing some. The hungry thing ate them all up. He's under Fred. Have some bread, said a lady, dressed in red. It seems to me he'd like some tea, said a fellow up the tree. A bit of rice might be nice, said a baby sucking ice. The hungry thing just shook his head and pointed to his son that said, feed me. The townspeople tried again. What would you like to eat, asked the townspeople. Feet loaf, answered the hungry thing. Feet loaf, cried the townspeople. How do we eat it? What can it be? Why, dear me, said the wise man, feet loaf. Hmm, let's see. It's a kind of shoe pudding that grows in a tree. Of course, said the cook. Feet loaf tastes sweet, and it's eaten by kings when they dine in bare feet. I think, said the little boy, you all ought to know. Feet loaf sounds like beet loaf sounds like meat loaf to me. So the townspeople gave the hungry thing some. The hungry thing ate it all up. He again pointed to his sign that said, feed me. What would you like to eat this time? Asked the townspeople. Hookies, answered the hungry thing. Hookies, cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What can they be? Hookies, said the wise man, are known in far lands as a special spaghetti to eat holding hands. Hookies, said the cook, are a party dish to serve at to a guest if he isn't a fish. I think, said the little boy, that it's all very simple. Hookies sound like Lokis, sound like cookies to me. The townspeople gave the hungry thing some and he ate them all up. Then he got to his feet. He smiled. He patted his mouth on a line of laundry. He turned around three times. It is true, he's all through, asked the lady dressed in blue. Let's all try to say goodbye, said a man with a can. Come again, said some men. But the hungry thing just sat down again, and he pointed to his sign that said, feed me. What do you want to eat, asked the townspeople. Golly pops, said the hungry thing. Golly, Pops, cried the townspeople, how do you eat them? What can they be? Oh dear me, said the wise men. Golly, Pops are new. They're cereal shaped like toys and sugar coated too. 
children, so the cook buy them by the dozens and trade off the box tops with classmates and cousins. I think, said the boy, you all out of here. Golly pops sound like dolly pops, sound like lollipops to me. So the townspeople gave the hungry thing some. The hungry thing ate them all up and he pointed to his sign again. Oh, please, said the people, we've been here all day. Isn't there a quicker way? I think, said the boy, that there is. Have some noodles, said the little boy. Have some noodles, the little boy asked the hungry thing. The hungry thing shook his head. Oh, excuse me, I meant to say foodles. The hungry thing smiled and ate them all up. Just look, said the cook. Let's all try, was the cry. So they all got busy. Have some smello, and they gave him some jello. Have some thread, and they gave him some bread. Have a banana, and they gave him a banana. The hungry thing ate and ate. He looked very full. Is there anything more we can give you? The townspeople wanted to know. The hungry thing politely covered a hiccup. He thought for a while. Then, boop with the smacker. Boop with the smacker. Boop with the smacker, what is that? The townspeople asked. The boy whispered to the wise man, and the wise man whispered to the cook, and the cook gave the hungry thing soup with the cracker. The hungry thing ate them all up. He smiled. He got to his feet and he wiped his mouth on the cook's hat. Just as he left, he turned his sign around. In big letters it said, thank you. <laughs> the end. Well readers, I hope you enjoyed that reel out of The Hungry Thing. That thing can sure eat, I'll tell you what. But were you able to guess all the rhymes? If you did, looks like you're ready to feed a hungry thing. I can't wait to see you on our next reel out on Reading with Christy. See you later.